Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started today with a outfit of the day. And today is inspired by Bohemian Hippie Chic. Um, to start out, the top that I'm wearing is this kind of over, kind of like a cover up, like a short sleeve cardigan type cover up. And it has embroidery on the side, it has lace, and it is like a very slight crop top. If I wasn't wearing anything under this, it would be a bit of a midriff. The reason I put it over top is because this cute baby doll is a great match, but it has a very weird hemline right here, so you're kind of no matter what you do, your bra is going to show on either one side or the other. So instead of fighting with that, I just added a quick layer, and it's not fully summer yet, so it is kind of chilly, especially where I live. So this is actually a great combination for this weather right now. So you can either tie it loose, you can have it open, you can have it shorter, kind of whatever your preference is. And then I have this really cute feather necklace. This, this necklace and this shirt are both from American Eagle at Marshalls. So the brand is American Eagle, but I bought it at Marshalls. Um, and then this head wrap and this necklace is from Aeropostel that I got at Marshalls. So if you can kind of tell where this haul is going to be going, it's going to be um, a Marshalls and Burlington Co. Factory haul. But I wanted to start out with the outfit of the day because um, this kind of style is not something that I normally do. I like it on other girls. I feel like girls that are really thin and skinny look good with this type of um, style. But um, I don't always wear it because I don't almost feel like it doesn't suit me as well. And then also I just have just like a brown cuff from Charlotte Rose and Heavens Forever. So um, I feel like with this um, look that I'm trying to achieve, it's not... Um, it's not about like a ton of uh, accessories, it's just about placing them in the right places. So, should we get started with the set of the day? Is that a movie? Nope, it's the set of the day! Yep, Sex in the City has a fragrance. Did you guys know that? I had no idea. Um, I might have, I think I heard about like they were going to make one a while ago when the movies were out, but I never actually saw it or purchased it. So I was in Marshalls, and one of my favorite things to do there is go to the fragrances, shoes, and bags. Because you can get, like, the most expensive designers there. Because what happens is when the original designer of the store has overstock, they send them there for a cheaper price. It's not like that there's that they're something wrong with them or they're used. It's nothing like that. It's just that there's overstock, there's leftover, they give them to Marshalls, and Marshalls, Marshalls will sell them for really cheap. Just like, for example, this shirt that I'm wearing, the little carnigan, $6.99 at Marshalls. That's great for this little sweater. It probably would have been $20 to $30 in the store. So, if I were to ask you guys how much this was, would you know? I seriously was, like, shocked when I looked. I seen the red stickers. I was like, ooh, it's not bad, but what is it? And it's a clam. $10. Can you believe that? I got it for $10. And it is 3.3 ounces. The box is kind of like whatever, but listen, when you open this up, the bottle is gorgeous. Look at that bottle. It's so cute. Like on your vanity, it's glass and it has a little like clasp. Almost reminds me of like a Lady Gaga claw. It's not exactly the same, but it's like kind of a claw that comes off. And then here's the perfume. It's the Sex in the City. It's a glass bottle. And then on the back, it says Kiss. I'm not sure how many um, different kinds there are. But this is the kiss, and then I guess there are maybe a couple other ones. But the kiss smells so, so good. Like, I'm going to smell the wine just for the first. I'm going to spray it again. Oh, that smells so good. I, like, die, die in love with this. It is a very, it almost kind of reminds me of the the Fendi smell. The, like, the second Fendi. It's very, like, expensive and um, elegant and clean and fresh, super clean and fresh, and I love smells like that. I'm not, um, I'm not a fan of like the muskier smells, but this is very, very light and clean, like a linen or soap and water, but expensive and it lasts. The scent really lasts. So that's today's scent of the day. Ten bucks for this huge bottle. Can you believe this? So that I can put this on my haul, uh, and I can now that I've hauled it, I can put it on my vanity because I have a little collection of perfumes on my vanity, as you guys have seen. 
Um, so I'm so glad I get to use it and put it on my vanity because it is so big and so cute and I can't wait to start using it. Okay, shall we continue with the Marshall's bag of hoodies? Okay, this is a random thing. Let's just let's just get it out there. Sorry, my bohemian headband is giving me a bohemian headache. <laughs> this is just a regular journal. It um it just says like Punch Studio uh journal. And the reason I got this is because uh, I like to keep one by my bed. Sometimes if I have like a dream, this might sound kind of corny or weird, but sometimes if I have like a, a re reoccurring dream or a dream that I want to remember, like I'll wake up and kind of jot it down. Just because a lot of people forget their dreams, I feel like they're important. So this was um, $3.99, and also you can use it for any other things, notes from school, anything, lyrics, whatever, poems, anything, scrolling, doodling. For $3.99, you can't like it, and it's hard, it's a hard back, it's not a paper, it's a sturdy one. Mm -mm -mm. So many goodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, I love this. I love, love, love this. Check me out. Oh yeah. That's a Hello Kitty nightgown. Not just a t-shirt, but a full-on Hello Kitty nightgown. It has Hello Kitty on the front, and then she's on the back winking. Oh my gosh. To die for it. Love, love, love it. Um, I have another one similar that I've had forever that I wear to bed all the time that, like, the color is starting to get worn. But, yeah, I picked this up at Marshall's, $9.99. And, yeah, that might be, like, you know, average price for Hello Kitty. But if you go anywhere else, especially at Spencer's or um, uh, Hot Topic, Hello Kitty is ridiculously expensive. So, I'm a sucker for Hello Kitty. And, oh, oh, oh I guess... We should get another Hello Kitty thing out of the way. <laughs> okay, this is the one I found first, okay? I found this one first, and it had Hello Kitty, and then it had the little, had like a little bow on it. This was $5.99. And then I found that one, and I was like, I want them both. And I was like, I was with my friend, she's like, why don't you just get them both so cheap? So I got both of them. I like sleeping in my cute jammies. Um, it's not even that I wear it for somebody in particular. I just like to go to sleep in cute little outfits. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love, love it. Okay, so check out this shirt. Um, I have, like, been kind of on the peplum train lately. And let me just tell you that I kind of was like, not that I didn't know what it was, but I didn't know how the benefits of wearing it. I, I know I have like a trillion shirts on, but I'm just going to try this on real quick. So basically, it's really good for, like, if you want to hide something, like, there's a little flare, um, and if you can wear it open, you can wear it closed, and I don't know, I just think that peplum is, like, a really cute trend for spring this season, and I really, really like this shirt. So, um, it has cute little buttons all the way down. The brand is One Clothing. And it was twelve ninety nine. So that's a really good, it's a really good steal for that. And it's a really nice quality of material. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, some good for some beauty products. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, the Dead Sea Spa High Definition Cream, and it's supposed to help with um, scars or cellulite or anything that you want to cover up. And I have a couple of scars that, um, they're not, like, huge, but I, I, like, I'm kind of insecure about them, so, especially when summer comes around. So, I'm definitely uh, into trying new things, and I actually, in the store, I googled on my phone about this, and I read, like, a ton of really good reviews about it. And it is huge. It's 8.5 ounces, and the bottle looks like this. Dead Sea Spa, and I'll just read a little bit of it, what it says. Um, it's, okay, non-greasy, lightweight texture instantly absorbed helps combat cellulite age marks and orange peel skin. Contains proline derived from seed extract in combination with papaya extract enriched in the Dead Sea Minerals. Leaves skin soft, smooth, and comfortable. So, um, we will try this out, and I will let you guys know how I liked it. Oh, and the price you can't beat this. Five ninety nine. This is the last beauty item. I was thinking about having this as the scent of the day. It's the Taylor Swift one. Uh, Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. 
Listen, I was just wonderstruck by Taylor Swift because not only does this smell delicious, but anyone heard the like I know you probably all heard that trouble song, which I wasn't like the biggest Taylor Swift fan. Not that I didn't like her, but I wasn't like the hugest fan. I love that song. And the twenty two feeling like her twenty two or whatever. It's a cute song. So look at this. It smells so good. It is it definitely I kind of feel like it reminds me kind of the Justin Bieber. Uh, it's a very candy sweet smell, but it does have uh, like a rich, it doesn't smell real cheapy cheapy. Alright, now this one was five bucks. Yeah, you kind of love Marshalls. Five bucks for this big thing of, and this isn't like an old uh, fragrance. This has only been out for I mean, a year or two. So that is definitely a good steal. And let us get to, there's two more things. Alright, this is the second to the last. Okay, this is, I might have to stand up for you to get the full awesomeness of this. I almost feel like it's a tunic, right? Um, it's not quite, it's not quite long enough to be a dress. A dress? A dress! <laughs> but it is a, it's like a tunic you could either wear with, um, capris or jeans or tucked in with a skirt. And I really do love the, um, the cuff detailing to make it from longer to short. Um, I've been seeing that like tr like trending everywhere, and then in the back it has this cute little detail where it kind of makes your back seem smaller with like the um, the lines, and it's just uh, white with navy polka dots. I really like this, and it felt like a good quality to me. So that was twelve ninety nine. And now to the last thing. Listen, I know this is kind of like what am I going to wear this to, but just look at this. Where's your gorgeous dress? Isn't this cute? Oh, I'm so excited to wear this. And it is like this rich, really nice material. So it has like these like rouging flowers and then it kind of bunches under the bus and then it's just flowing down. And it does have a tie in the back. And this is probably the best deal of all. So ten dollars. Ten dollars for this really pretty dress. And any buyer, I think it's the, is the designer, but, and it has those little things on the inside, so you, if you don't wear a bra, it'll like stick to your skin, being a strapless, because that is the tricky thing with strapless dresses, is the right kind of bra, so that it kind of has the bra function, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, that was my whole outfit of the day, fragrance slash spiel, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.